Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is my Finishing the Bible One Year Project, Day 25. So, Day 25, we're doing Exodus 22, 23, and 24. And, as usual, BlueLetterBible.org is what we're using, and King James Version, still. Um, like I said, if you guys want to uh, want me to read a different version, let me know. I do trip up sometimes with the King James version, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm trying. So anyway, um, yesterday we read obviously Exodus 19, 20, 21, and uh, it was not gonna lie, pretty dry stuff, like laws and stuff. Especially 21. Oh, and 22, just by glancing at it, 22 looks like more laws, rights, and and, and things. So, um, <laughs> to be honest, it's I'm not really looking forward to it. I like more the the Bible verses about, you know, more story. Uh, but hopefully we could just power through this and get to on to the next story. So, continuing on, Exodus 22, verse 1. If a man shall steal an ox or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he die, therefore shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen up upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full restitution. If he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. If the theft to be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or ass or sheep, he shall restore double. If a man shall cause a field or vineyard to be eaten, and shall put in his beast, and shall feed in another man's field, of the beast of his own field, and the be best of his own vineyard, shall he make restitution. If a fire break out, and catch in thorns, so that the st stacks of corn or standing corn or field be consumed therewith, he that killed the fire shall surely make restitution. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep, and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. If the thief not be, no, if the thief be not, then the master of the house shall be brought unto the judges to see whether he have put his hand unto his neighbor's goods. For all manners of trespass, whether it be ox or ass, for sheep, for raiment, or for any manner of last thing which another challenged to be his, the cause of both parties shall come before the judges, and whom the judges shall condemn, he shall pay double unto his neighbor. If a man deliver unto his neighbor an ass, or an ox, or a sheep, or any beast to keep, and a die be hurt or driven away, no man seeing it, then shall an oath of the Lord be between them both, that he hath not put his hand unto his neighbor's goods, and the owner of it shall accept therefore thereof, and he shall not make it good. And if it be stolen from him, he shall make restitution unto the owner thereof. <clears throat> if it be torn into pieces, then let him bring it for witness, and he shall not make good that which was torn. If a man borrow aught of his neighbor, and be hurt or die, the owner thereof being not with it, he shall surely make it good. But if the owner thereof be it with it, he shall not make it good. If it be a hired thing, it came for his hire. Whew. Man, <laughs> this is tough, guys. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. If her father utterly refuse to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the drowry of virgins. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. He that sacrificeth unto any god, save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. If thou afflict them any wise, and they cry at all unto me, I will surely hear their cry. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as usurer. Neither shalt thou lay upon him usury. usury. If thou at all take thy neighbor's raiment to pledge, thou shalt deliver it unto him. 
by that the sun goeth down. For it is his covering only, it is his raiment for skin, wherein shall he sleep, and it shall come to pass, when he crieth unto me, that I will hear, for I am gracious. Thou shalt not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. Thou shalt not delay the offer, delay to offer the first of thy ripe fruits, and of thy liquors the firstborn of thy sons shalt thou give unto me. Likewise shalt thou do with thine oxen and with thy sheep seven days it shall be with his dam on the eighth day thou shalt give it to me and ye shall be holy men unto me neither shall ye eat any flesh that is torn of beasts in the field ye shall cast it to the dogs okay Ooh, that was chapter 22 um okay more laws <laughs> okay chapter 23 verse 1 thou shalt not raise a false report Put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to wrest judgment, neither shalt thou con countenance a poor man in his cause. If thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. If thou see an ass of him that hateth thee lying under his burden, and wouldest, wouldest forbear to help him, thou shalt surely help with him. Thou shalt not rest the judgment of thy poor in his cause. Keep thee far from a false matter, and the innocent and righteous shall, uh, excuse me, righteous slay thou not, for I will not justify the wicked. And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise, and perverteth the words of the righteous. Also thou shalt not oppress a stranger, for ye know the heart of a stranger, seeing we were strangers in the land of Egypt. In six years thou shalt sow thy land, and shalt gather the fruits thereof. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest, and lie still, that the poor of thy people may eat, and what then, and what they leave the beasts of the field shall eat. In like manner thou shalt, <coughs> excuse me, thou shalt deal with the, thy vineyard and thy olive yard. Six days thou shalt work, do thy work, and on the seventh day thou shalt rest, that thine ox and thine ass may rest, and the son of thy handmaid and the stranger that may be refreshed. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Three years, three times thou shalt keep a feast unto me in the year. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread, thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days, as I command thee in the time appointed out of the month Abib, for in it thou camest out of Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. And the feast of the harvest, the first fruits of thy labors, which thou hast sown in the field, and the feast of ingathering, which is in the end of the year, when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field, three times in the year, all thy males shall appear before the Lord God. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with, un with leavening bread, neither shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until the morning. The first of the first fruits of thy land shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not seeketh a kid in his mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the, the way, and to bring thee into the place I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies, and an adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angel shall go before thee, and bring thee into the Amorites, the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, and the Hivites, and the Jezu Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them, and quite break down their images. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall be nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land, and the number of thy days I will fulfill. I will send my fear before thee, and will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee, and I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hivite and the Canaanite and the Hittite from before thee. I will not drive them out before thee in one year, lest the land become desolate, and the beasts of the field multiply against thee. By little and little I will drive them out from before thee, until thou be increased and inherit the land. And I will set thy bounds from the Red Sea even until the Sea of Philistines, and from the desert unto the river. For I will deliver the inhabitants out of the land into your hand, and thou shalt drive them out before thee. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be 
a snare unto thee. Exodus 24. And he said unto Moses, Come up unto the Lord, thou and Aaron, Nadab, and Ab Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice, and all said, All the words which the Lord hath said we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose up early morning, and built an altar under the hill, and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in the basins, and half the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the people, and they said, All that the Lord hath said we will do, and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. Then went up Moses and Aaron, and Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, as it were, paved work of sapphire stone, and as it were, the body of heaven in his clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel he laid not his hand, also they saw God, and did not and did eat and drink. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me in the, to the mount, and be there, and I will give thee tables of stone and law and commandments, which I have written, that thou mayest teach them. And Moses rose up, and his, and his minister Joshua, and Moses went up to the mount of God. And he said unto the elders, Tarry ye here for us, until we come again unto you. And behold, Aaron and Hur are with you. If any man have any matters to do, let him come unto them. And Moses went into the mount, and a cloud covered the mount. And the glory of God abode upon the mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. Hmm. And Moses went into the midst of the clouds and got him up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount for forty days and forty nights. Whoa, guys. Glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on top of the mount. That sounds amazing. That was uh, Exodus 24, guys. Um, yeah, interesting stuff. Well, besides the laws and stuff, that was pretty dry. Not going to lie, just being honest, um, that was very dry. I know it's like, ah, uh, it, it's just really, <laughs> really dry stuff. Uh, but other than that, uh, this chapter wasn't so bad. So, um, yeah, tomorrow we'll do uh, 25, 26, 27, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes uh, two chapters a day, sometimes three, sometimes four. But I believe tomorrow is three. Yep, 25, 26, 27. So, just going to do a short prayer, as usual. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for everything you've given us. I pray that uh, you continue to be with us as we read and learn your word. And I pray that we can continue to get closer to you, Lord. Thank you for everything you've done for us and everything you will do for us. In your precious holy name, Jesus Christ. Amen. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. Hope I see you tomorrow. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. God bless and always put God first. See you later. Bye-bye.